Hello everyone, this is Manisha Banda from Sambalpur, Odisha. In this video, I am going to discuss about another very important phylum of the animal kingdom that is phylum Cylenterata or Nidaria. Phylum Cylenterata or Nidaria which belongs to animal kingdom that is chapter 4 of class 11th CBSE Biology. Okay, phylum Cylenterata it is often mispronounced as Coilenterata. Students pronounce it as Coilenterata. In some places I've heard like that it's not necessary that in all places it is pronounced like that all that all the students pronounce like that but most often it is pronounced as colenterata it is not colenterata it is cylenterata cylenterata or nidaria c is silent in nidaria nidaria spelling is c n i d a r i a nidaria phylum cylenterata or nidaria it has been again derived from greek words only greek words k n i d e night which means nettle nettle or stinging cell nettle or stinging cell coilos means cavity coilos cylenterata coilos means cavity enteron means intestine coilos means cavity enteron means intestine so the phylum Cylenterata has been derived from two Greek words. Coilos means cavity, enteron means intestine. So let us start the description. The, the description of the phylum Cylenterata or Nidaria. Okay, so what is the description of the phylum? These are mostly aquatic, these are mainly aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free swimming, readily symmetrical animals. These are aquatic, mostly marine. Sessile or free swimming readily symmetrical animals. Once again, I am repeating these are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free swimming readily symmetrical animals. Their symmetry is radial symmetry. So, any plane passing through the center of the body, any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the body into equal radial halves. There is not a single plane and any plane it may be vertical plane it may be horizontal plane it may be radial plane so any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the body into radial halves it is called radial symmetry and these are radially symmetrical animals radially symmetrical animals so these are aquatic mostly marine sessile or free swimming radially symmetrical animals okay the name nidaria the name nidaria is derived from nidoblast or nidocytes the name nidaria is derived from nidoblast or nidocytes which contain which contain stinging capsules or nematocyst which contain stinging capsule or nematocyst present on the tentacles and on the body present on the tentacles and the body the name nidaria is derived from nidoblast or nidocyst sites nidoblast or nidocytes which contain stinging capsule or nematocyst present on the tentacles and the body these are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free swimming, radially symmetrical animals. These are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free swimming, radially symmetrical animals. The name Nidaria is derived from nidoblast or nidocytes which contain stinging capsule or nematocyst present on the tentacles and the body. Nematocyst present on the tentacles and the body. What is the, what is the function of this nidoblast or nidocytes? What is the function? Nidoblast or nidocytes, they help for what? They have help for encourage, defense and for the capture of prey they help because they contain the nematocyst stinging capsule or the nematocyst that's why they help for what they help in the encourage fixing to a substratum fixing fixing to a substratum to a particular body particular fix they get fixed to a substratum to a particular place that is called encourage a n c h o r a g is encourage so nidoblast or nidocytes they help in encourage defense and for the capture of prey once again, I'm repeating, these are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free swimming, readily symmetrical animals. The name Nidaria is derived from two Greek, the name Nidaria is derived from the nidoblast or nidocytes, which contain the stinking capsule or the nematocyst, present on the tentacles and the body. Nidoblast or nidocytes, they help for anchor age defense and for the capture of prey. Okay, let us uh, begin the another part, another very important part that is the second half of this. The Nido Nidarians. The Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization. The Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. The Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening called hypostome. 
they have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening called hypostome. Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening called hypostome. Another very important part, digestion is both extracellular as well as intracellular. But I had said in porifera, it is only intracellular. Digestion is both extracellular as well as intracellular in case of cylinderata or nidaria. So, nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization, level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening called hypostome. They have a central gastrovascular cavity, enteron, intestine. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening called hypostome. Okay, digestion. Digestion is both extracellular as well as intracellular. Digestion is both extracellular as well as intracellular. Some of the nidarians like corals. Some of the nidarians like corals. They have this skeleton made up of calcium carbonate. Some of the nidarians like corals have this skeleton made up of calcium carbonate. So this finishes half of the portion. Once again, I am revising from the beginning. These are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free swimming, readily symmetrical animals. The name nidaria is derived from nidoblast or nidocytes, which contain stinging capsules or nematocyst present on the tentacles and the body. Nidarians what do they help for? They help in encourage defense and for the capture of prey. They help for three things. They help in encourage defense and for the capture of prey. Okay. Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and the diploblastic. Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and the diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening called hypostome. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening called hypostome. Digestion is both extracellular as well as intracellular. Okay, some of the nidarians like corals, they have the skeleton made up of calcium carbonate. So this finishes one of the major parts of that uh, description, that is phylum cylinderata or nidaria. Another very important part begins. Nidarians exhibit two basic body forms. Remember, this is very, very important. Nidarians exhibit two basic body forms. First is polyp, second is medusa. Nidarians exhibit two basic body forms. First is polyp, second is medusa. So, what are these polyps and what are these medusa? The former, the polyps, the polyps are sessile and cylindrical. Sessile means fixed. These are immobile. They don't move. They remain fixed to a substratum. They don't, don't move at all. The polyps are sessile and cylindrical like that of hydra and adamsia. The polyps are, the nidarians exhibit two basic body forms, polyps and medusa. Polyps are sessile and cylindrical. Polyps are sessile and cylindrical like hydra and adamsia. What about the medusa? Medusa are umbrella shaped and free swimming. Medusa are umbrella shaped and free swimming. Example, Aurelia. Aurelia it is also called jellyfish. Okay. So, nidarians exhibit two basic body forms, polyps and medusa. Polyps are sessile and cylindrical like hydra and adamsia. Polyps are sessile and cylindrical like hydra and adamsia. Medusa, power medusa. Medusa are umbrella shaped. Medusa are umbrella shaped and free swimming. Example Aurelia or jellyfish. Aurelia. As I told in the Porifera video that uh, these are all the generic names, these are the genus. This is genus. Hota hai, usko kaise likha jata hai? Genus ka pehla letter jo hota hai. Pehla letter har bar capital mein hi likha jata hai. Scientific name ka binomial nomenclature mein scientific name jab likha jata hai. Like that homo sapiens. H capital hota hai. Homo ka H capital hota hai. Sapiens ka S small hota hai. Like that. Yaha par khali generic name likha ja raha hai. G should be capital. G capital mein likha jayega. Okay. G whatever whatever maybe the name suppose Gorgonia. Gorgonia is one of the examples. So wahan par G capital mein likha jayega. Here I was saying about the example of the Aurelia. Aurelia ka, Aurelia ka A capital hota hai. Okay. So, Nidarians exhibit two basic body forms. Polyps and Medusa. Polyps are sessile and cylindrical like Hydra and Adamsia. Medusa. Medusa are, how are Medusa? Medusa are umbrella shaped and free swimming. Example, Aurelia or Jellyfish. Those Nidarians, there are some Nidarians which exist in both the body forms. It is quite critical. Some, 
there are some nidarians which exist in both the body forms like some of those nidarians which exist in both the body forms they exhibit alternation of generation the nidarians which exist in both the body forms exhibit alternation of generation which is called metagenesis the nidarians which exist in both the body forms exhibit they show alternation of generation that is metagenesis alternation of generation ko metagenesis bhi bolte hain metagenesis okay so what is this metagenesis so what are the two basic body forms polyps and medusa polyps how do the polyps produce so what is that alternation of generation or metagenesis polyps produce medusa asexually and medusa produce polyps sexually polyps produce medusae or medusa or medusae asexually medusae produce polyps sexually so this is called alternation of generation that is metagenesis example obelia obelia okay so once again from the beginning i'm repeating these are aquatic mostly marine sessile or free swimming readily symmetrical animals these are aquatic mostly marine sessile or free swimming readily symmetrical animals the name nidaria is derived from nidaria that nido blast or nido sites which contain stinging capsules or nematocyst nematocytes nahi hai wo nematocyte galat diya hai instead mein galat print hua tha old edition mein aap thoda new book dekh lijiye maybe abhi correction ho chuka hai nematocyte nahi hai wo c y t e s nahi hai nematocyst hai c y s t hai nematocyst so that uh, name nidaria is derived from nido blast or nido sites which contain stinging capsules or nematocyst present on the tentacles and the body then what do this uh, nido blast help for nido blast or nido sites they help in defense capture of prey and anchorage anchorage defense and capture of prey coming to the next part nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization in periphery there was cellular level of organization here it is tissue level of organization nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic they have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening that is hypostom they have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening that is hypostom digestion is both extracellular as well as intracellular then uh, some of the nidarians like corals corals exhibit they have this skeleton made up of calcium carbonate some of the nidarians like corals have this skeleton made up of calcium carbonate okay then the uh, then begins the very important part that what are the two basic body forms first form is polyp second is medusa so nidarians exhibit two basic body forms polyps and medusa so what are these polyps these are sessile and cylindrical like hydra and adamsia sessile and cylindrical like hydra and adamsia medusa medusa are umbrella shaped and free swimming medusa are umbrella shaped and free swimming like or aurelia or jellyfish okay and there is one even another very important part that is metagenesis alternation of generation or metagenesis so some nidarians those nidarians which exist in both the body forms exhibit alternation of generation that is metagenesis polyps polyps produce medusae asexually medusae produce polyps sexually okay example is obelia so this finishes the whole description of phylum cylindrata or nidaria which is given in ncert let me tell some of the examples what are the examples in general i'm telling we have already discussed many examples hydra adamsia aurelia obelia obelia o b e l i a hydra adamsia aurelia obelia first four examples we did discuss next physelia physelia that is called portuguese man of war physelia it is also called portuguese man of war then gorgonia gorgonia is sea fan next penatula 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 is sea pen p e n likhne wala pen okay first four we discussed hydra adamsia aurelia obelia hydra adamsia aurelia obelia physelia gorgonia 
Penadula. Faiselia Gorgonia Penadula. Faiselia is Portuguese man of war. Gorgonia. Gorgonia is sea fan. Fan. Panka. Sea fan. Penatula. Penatula is sea pen. P E N. Sea pen. There are many more examples like another is Miendrina. It is brain coral. Miendrina. Miendrina. Okay, one more thing I forgot to tell that uh, coral. You must have heard about the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Great Barrier Reef. It is one of the major part, major corals. It, this part contains major coral reefs. Okay. Uh, what is the cor coral island of India? Coral island of India. It is Lakshadweep. The coral island of India is Lakshadweep. Okay. So this was all about phylum Silentareta or Nidaria. What are the classes? Let me name the classes of that uh, phylum Silentareta or Nidaria. As why we had discussed about the classes of the phylum Porifera. So what are the three classes? Hydrozoa. First is Hydrozoa. First class. Then second class, class 2 is Skyphozoa. First class 1 is Hydrozoa. Class 2 is Skyphozoa. Skyphozoa. Third class 3 is Anthozoa. Anthozoa. Hydrozoa, Skyphozoa, and Anthozoa. What are the examples? Once again, Hydra, Adamsia, Aurelia, Obelia, Physalia, Gorgonia, Penatula. Physalia, Gorgonia, Penatula, Meandrina, brain coral. Okay. What are the classes? Class 1 is Hydrozoa, Class 2 is Skyphozoa, Class 3 is Anthozoa. So this finishes. So you can see I am sweating a lot. It's really very hot here. What can be done? The summer has approached already. Okay. So this finishes phylum cylinderata or nidaria. I hope you all enjoyed. So this finishes. Just please watch the video carefully once again. You will go through it. Just go through the insanity, then you watch the video. I I believe you can do that. I really believe. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you.